This is the Audition interface. I just want to give you a quick tour around the interface so that you know where everything is. This UI consists of different panels. Starting on the left panel over here, at the top, you've got the files. So this is showing you the files that you've pulled into Audition and that you want to work with. Then under this, you have other windows where you can view, for example, the media browser. And this is all the locations on your system. So you can browse through here to find audio files that you want to pull in. And there's also a selection of other windows you can view, like the effects rack, the markers, and through to the properties. But we'll go through these through the course of this series. Then this bottom panel over here, this shows the history. So when you make edits to your audio files, you can go through the history and jump back if you want to go back to a previous place where you made an edit. Then also if you work into video, this is the video panel. But these panels can be moved around. If you select the name, you can see I can move this to different locations within the interface. Or if I hold down Command on the Mac or Control on the PC, I can even undock this window and move it around and place it elsewhere. And the same, I can just grab the name and drag it back to its previous location. And on the right here, you also have space to add panels. Currently, it's showing the Essential Sounds panel, but you can choose other ones that you want to view. And all the panels that are available are seen here under the window view. So these are the ones that are shown, that are ticked. And as you can see, the editor view is also being shown. And the editor is this big view over here that's displaying the waveform. So this is the audio track in the Files menu, and then this is the waveform associated with the file. And finally, at the bottom, there's an output meter. So if I just scrub across this audio, you see that it's showing the output meter of this audio. And this layout that I'm showing you here is currently the default layout. You'll also notice that you've got some other layouts depending on what your workflow is and what type of work you're doing. Let's say you're working to video. You might choose to see this layout. And as you click through these, you'll see how the panels change. And this just gives a better workflow for different tasks that you may be working on. For example, in the radio production, this will show you the effects that you can add to the track, plus the metadata for each track. And if you click this button here, you'll see there's some other views. For example, the mastering and analysis will give you some analysis tools that you might want to use while mastering your audio tracks. But for this series, I'm going to mainly be working with the default view and then jumping maybe to the mixer view. But you can explore some of these other views if you want to. But going through the series, you'll get a very good idea of how to customize this to show the panels that you want to see. Also, up on the editor, you've got this view where you can scroll across. And if I just zoom in, and this is just using the plus sign, I can scroll around in different areas on the waveform. And this navigation can also be done down here. Here, you've got your horizontal zoom in and your vertical zoom in. And this isn't changing the actual volume of the audio. This is just changing how it's displayed. And then also, there's a transport panel over here so that you can play back, rewind, and skip through the audio or even loop it. Now, the most important are these two tabs up here. This is the waveform and multi-track view. Currently, we're in the waveform view, where it's a single audio editor. So essentially, Audition is an audio editor, meaning you pull in an audio file and edit it with the advanced tools that you have available to you. But with the multi-track view, that allows you to work with multiple audio tracks at a time, much like your standard DAW. The only difference with Audition is you can't work with MIDI. That's why it's best to see it as a multi-function audio editor and not as a DAW. You'll see later in the series the benefits this application has in working this way as a multifunction audio editor. And another thing to point out is that Adobe Audition is part of the CC or Creative Cloud Suite. And what this means is that the application works seamlessly with other applications in the CC range like Premiere and Media Encoder, where you can send the files between these applications to do different tasks but I'll also show you how this is done later in the series. And lastly, you've also got many options where you can explore extra functions of the applications, 
but we'll also explore these throughout this series. So now that you've got an idea of this interface and how to get around it, let's check out how to set up your audio device in this application.